Hello, today uh, you're gonna learn about making animations with Macromedia Flash MX. So, in order to make animations with Macromedia Flash MX, you can uh, use these tools. These are the tools which are quite similar to Paint, and you can draw stuff with it. So, le let's just understand what are these tools and how to use them. So the first tool that we are going to learn about is this tool which is selection tool or arrow tool also get the arrow tool in order to select stuff. This is the sub selection tool in order to select a particular part of the original figure. This is the line tool to draw lines. Okay. And you can select different uh, types of lines that you want to draw. Uh, then you have this text tool you can select the type of text all right color bold everything then this oval tool in order to make an oval or a circle now you might be wondering why uh, did we have a red color uh, filled inside this oval that is because we have this fill color tool you have to change it to nothing no fill in order to get you know unfilled circle other than that we have this square in order to draw square brush tool brush tool again comes with uh, different sizes of the brushes as you can see and also different shapes of the brushes then we have this uh, filling color tool and eyedropper tool eyedropper tool is to you know select as in paint we have to just choose the color we like in order to fill or use it then this is eraser tool in order to erase stuff and that's pretty much magnifier tool in order to magnify stuff then hand tool to select stuff again so this is uh, these are the basic tools uh, in order to make animations so let's let's just begin with making our first animation so now to make our first animation i'm going to use this brush tool i'm going to select black color yeah and let me just select circular um, and the size is size of the dot is this much okay so this will be better um, so let me let me just uh, make a simple stickman animation in order to make a stickman animations uh, you know to select the brush tool and uh, all right so this is our first figure so to uh, make animations with macromedia flash mx what you need to know is that uh, there are different frames all right different frames means different pictures which when seen after some intervals of time look like an animation this is uh, this is what makes an animation in macromedia flash mx all right so uh, along with this i want to make a fan uh, no that will be uh, uh, that i'll make uh, a little later otherwise let's let's just make a f no let me make it simple for people so um, yeah so let me just make a stick man yeah fine and in order to create different now if i if i create a different picture just after one frame uh, the animation might run for a millisecond and you wouldn't even recognize the animation the change in the pictures if they happen a few milliseconds now in order to see the animation properly we are going to create different frames only after a few seconds that means we are copying the frames for few seconds and after that we will see uh, after that we'll create a new frame that means create a new picture so let me show you how to do that so in order to copy frames we have to click f5 f5 okay so i'm clicking f5 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 yeah so this this now the whole uh, this stick man actually uh, actually rests on the movie for about 
point five seconds. Yeah, point five seconds exactly. So after point five seconds, if I show different picture, then it might look uh, like an animation, and this is what we're going to see. So in order to create a new frame or new picture, we are going to click F seven. This will create a new frame. Um, if you haven't selected the onion skill tool, you cannot see the original figure. So you have to click the onion skill tool in order to see the original picture uh, which was present before making the second frame. So let me just retrace the origi original diagram. let me just move his head right here while keeping F5, F5 and F7 Now I'll uh, make a different frame. For the figure. Five, 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 five. Finally F7. So um, So uh, again F5 to copy the frames. You see the whole, all the frames, this whole animation will take 1.8 seconds only. And these animations will be repeated. Okay. So uh, let's just test the movie. I'm going to control and test the movie. Now this looks like an animation, isn't it? So this is how you make an animation. So now again you can you know create more frames uh, and it will look like it is being animated. So other than this uh, we can also use backgrounds for our animations. By background I mean if you are trying to uh, draw a background uh, for a particular frame and if you're copying it if you're creating a new frame what happens is all the background that you had drawn in first frame will be completely uh, deleted or I mean completely uh, be absent for the next frame so in order to trace back the background leaving the body uh, that you want to change you can create a layer over here okay so in order to do draw a layer you can just you know draw something like this fill it with some color if you like to it's like green yeah and also sun you can draw sun filled with yellow and orange yeah all right so uh, i want to trace this this particular background in every frame so in order to do that I have to create a layer 
and this layer will actually become the background for every animation and you don't have to draw this frame for every uh, upcoming frame okay so you have to click this this icon over here and the frame will be created and once you've drawn the frame you can click the brush tool and create your stick body diagram or anything you like you can also import uh, a background from by going to file and clicking import and you can select the image that you actually want to import okay so by that way and creating a layer of course af after that so this is how you actually uh, create a background for your animation so uh, yeah i'll show you an i'll show you an example how this frame works See, I have forgotten the color, so you can go to eyedropper tool, select the color, and again go to brush and fill it out. Now, uh, let's use some of our tools that we have learned till now. Okay. So this is this is a selection tool used to select uh, a part of the diagram, and this is sub selection tool in order to, you know, change stuff. So we cannot select the background with this, okay? And you see, if I select this arrow tool, and if I try to move move this particular pixels will be moved or maybe this part of uh, I mean some pixels are selected of particular color and they are moved okay so this is how to use this um, now I'm gonna create copy frames copied frames and I'm gonna click F7 in order to create a new frame you see the background was traced back because I had created a layer with it and uh, we can draw the new stick stick man animation I mean stick man frame so uh, the background will be always there and you can make changes to your new frame okay so this is how it works all right so this is about it other than this we can also create uh, animation by using sprites something called sprites sprites All right, sprites. So, what are sprites? Sprites are these uh, pre-made pictures which can be used as frames to make animations. So, let me just import a a frame. I mean, a picture for an as an example. Mm. So let me just import those three pictures one by one. Okay, open and I have selected. You can just use this and place it at the center. Yeah. And I'll copy the frames now. F7. As I have clicked the onion tool, I can see the original figure. I can import 
the new picture again this and here I go second figure f5 f7 import the third figure f5 again and that's pretty much now let's just try to test the movie you see it looks like an animation and these are pre-made pictures just for making animations you can just search in google for different sprites and you will be able to